Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and the sixth year anniversary celebration rewards have finally dropped, and it is a whole month of insane rewards that you will be able to collect. So if you have been taking a break from Marvel Future Fight for a day, a week, a month, a year, 10 years, 84 years, it's time to get your butt back into the game. I am not exaggerating when I say that these rewards are the best that I've ever seen, and they are the best that we've ever seen for any anniversary. Are you ready? Now, yeah, it's pretty bonkers, so let's check them out. They're not in the game just yet, so I said get your butts in the game. Maybe you want to just get reacquainted with the game, but they're going to start on the 4th of uh, April, so you still have a couple of days in case you were taking a two-week break for the returning player awards or whatever. Maybe you've got some final essays or some tests to do. But yeah, these these are huge. These are huge. So yeah, at least log in. At least try to log into the game every single day from the 4th of April all the way to the end of the month. Yeah, because oh, and you'll you'll wait till you wait till you see. You sign in the thumbnail. Wait till you see what is coming. So they give us check-in points, which are basically like the big juicy rewards at specific days. And you can see we've got six star selectors, tier two, uh, mega tier two tickets, six star selector for mutants, another mega tier two tickets, mythic, you know, uh, mythic uh, ticket, mythic cards, mythic comic cards. I can't even speak. And cosmic cube fragments. You have potential realization tickets. You got an Odin's blessing. And then the big, big one we were hoping to see again that was such a big hit last year is the tier three selector and a secret six year anniversary comic card which seems it sounds a lot spicier than it has ever been so yeah it's pretty exciting so let's let's get into the actual details now day by day so you, this is what you'll get on the very first day april 4th you're going to get a six star selector now these six star selectors are going to be identical to the biometric selectors in terms of who you can choose so if you want a quick example of who you'll be able to choose from those six star selectors, it's essentially all of the characters that you see here on this list, right? They're just the biometric selector characters. So you don't necessarily want to choose characters that you can farm quite easily from missions or that you can just pick up through rift tokens in the rift shop. Obviously, I'm in love with Cersei right now, and I will easily argue that she's the best bio selector character in the game bar none. So I would obviously suggest that you throw your six star selector at her. However, we've got a lot more to cover, so let's continue. We get some black antimatter, some cast Lord stones. We get a hundred bio selector there. That's cool. Half a million gold, which is nice. Then boom, on day six, a mega tier two ticket. Now the nice thing about this is it's just a mega tier two ticket, so you can just log in, pocket the mega tier two ticket, and you don't have to use it, right? Well, I shouldn't say that. It may have an expiry. No, it shouldn't have an expiry. You should be able to just collect it, and then it sits in your inventory, because that's how the mega tier two works. Because they take up spot in your inventory. Anyways, I don't want I don't want to say I don't want to promise you that it's going to work like that. It, sh it should work like that, but it may be something that you have to use within seven days. But still, it gives you seven days because we don't know. Right. We may we may start like four days from or th two days from now is Jan uh, April 4th. You've got 13 days on that. Then another f six days on top of that. That's the, the 9th or the 10th of April plus whatever seven days. That's going to be halfway through. You're going to be like the 15th, 17th of April. We're probably going to see a sneak peek by then because we usually see a sneak peek for the next update by the 13th. So you could get a heads up. You know, if, if we know the update's going to be like this or like that, it could give you something to use your mega tier two ticket on. Again, that's only if you can't just pocket it and keep it in your inventory for, for forever. So yeah, that's really cool. Then we get 200 crystals. Then we get a six star X-Men uh, mutant selector. Now, this one is only the basic mutants. So I would probably recommend you use it on someone like Rogue or someone like Cyclops just so you can jumpstart farming them. Or if someone you've never even thought of farming because you don't want them like Beast, you could just pick him up so that you always have that leadership for um, combat types. So yeah, or physical damage types, not just combat types, physical damage types. So yeah, that's cool. And it's, it's different. So it gives you uh, another option of characters. You're not going to see characters like, I don't think we're going to see characters like Weapon Hex, Kid Omega. You may see Bishop angel and warpath on that selector so you could choose one of them to get them to six stars instead of using all those rift tokens that's there's an argument to be made there right because i would maybe rather exchange energy to farm um, beast 
than exchanging rift tokens to farm like a warpath or an angel but yeah so you have some good options there then we've got some x-men materials which is cool you have an x genes 100 x gene selector that one is really juicy the 100 x gene selector is nice because that one will include uh kid omega so you know what if this one includes kid omega i want to say that the six star selector would also include kid omega but yeah you also have domino and phantom x and then you have x23 so even if the x-men selector doesn't include um kid omega and x23 the 100 x gene selector will uh include these characters so that is quite nice there because that's that's exactly the same one that i have in my inventory so that's dope then we get another half million gold which is nice i like gold you get another mega tier two ticket yeah one week later you get another mega tier two ticket bro back to back week after week so mid game players mid level players you guys are just gonna be flying flying through these tier twos it's really really nice of course i have a video on best characters to mega tier two if you want to go and check that out i may do an updated uh mini list for that you know closer to the 9th of april just to remind you guys but uh yeah that's that's like so dope and the the cool the other cool thing is the other good thing you can look at it this way knowing that we're going to be getting two mega tier two tickets over the next month not only gives you that insight for next month's to token event where you might have just automatically chosen the mega tier two ticket but it can also give you that information now for this month's defenders token event so maybe if you were saving up your tokens for that mega tier two ticket maybe now you want to consider getting the ctp in and, and rolling the dice on this one or maybe you want to grab some books maybe you want to grab two books right two two uh, titan record selectors maybe you want to grab some awakening crystals or some rank up tickets or what have you right so you have a little bit more wiggle room now you have a little bit more opportunity to plan ahead and hoard even more um you know variety of resources to to enhance your roster we got another 200 crystals we got 50 ccf which is nice we got a mythic random mythic comic card we got uh these two 100 uh pops of tier 3 materials which is nice another half million gold 200 bio selector another 200 crystals so 600 crystals all together and then this is pretty nice actually a level four enhancement ticket which jumps you from 60 to 66 i believe and then this one will push you from 66 to 68 and then this one will push you from 68 to 70. so what that means is for free you can take any non-native tier 2 character from 60 to 70 without wasting any gold which is 10 million gold minimum if you don't gamble on the percentages it doesn't it doesn't waste any black antimatter or chaos lorn stones and it doesn't waste any bios so that's basically those three days worth of tickets is worth 2500 bios 2500 bios 10 million gold and like i don't know it's like something like 4000 or 5000 black antimatter those last three days are insanely valuable so so valuable and so you can use those tickets to let's say like get rogue from 60 to 70. so then you can start working on uh getting her to tier three now as i say that i realize i shouldn't have chosen rogue as the example you don't you probably don't want to use these potential tickets on mutants because you can use the mutant materials the mcron crystals and the phoenix feathers for their potential you're still gonna waste you're still gonna waste the gold and the bios but instead of using black antimatter and chaos Thornstones, you can use those limited and and capped x-men materials so you probably want to save this for a non-mutant non-native tier two but like let's say you want to transcend luke cage or let's say you want a tier three daredevil or another character you could just bada bing bada boom use these three tickets boom 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 get them immediately to 70. that's that's actually so sick i think honestly for me as a veteran i think that's the best reward especially if i can hoard that for the future that's dope uh and then we got a random odin's blessing chest which is nice and then we get the tier three selector and the 60 year anniversary comic card so here's where it gets interesting i want to talk about the comic card first if we scroll down here to the notes here's what the comic card says the six year anniversary comic card will have one random option when it's collected at the point of distribution and changes in the option or exchanging the card will not be available so it sounds like you're not allowed to re-roll the card which is very different than the existing anniversary cards because I, I believe i still have uh at least one of them yes i do this is the five year this is the card we got last year so this card only has two fixed stats cooldown and dodge which is okay uh, and then you can of course re-roll it as many times as you want but that's it that's the card the six-year anniversary card they said has five 
five non, because it says it only has one random option. The random options are in blue. Regular comic cards have four random options and two fixed. And then premium cards will have three fixed and one random. So if there's a card that has one random stat, it's going to have five fixed stats. So everyone is going to get a nearly identical card because five of the stats will be exactly the same for every single player, which is kind of hilarious. What's even more hilarious is that the random option, the blue card, won't be changeable. So you could be one of the lucky people that gets basically an ultra perfect six year anniversary card, right? I might get my six year anniversary card and the last stat, which is the random stat, is mind resist. But you might get yours and it's like energy attack or a proc or something or like dodge or HP or something good. I really like that. I, I, I think that's nice, right? Some people are going to complain about RNG, yada, 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 but it's supposed to be something fun. And having this like literally unique card makes me feel more like you do when you're actually collecting cards, right? Like this is, you know, it's like, a oh, this is like the LeBron James rookie. This is a one of 50. Right? There's only going to be so many players in the game that pulled the exact same six year anniversary card as you did based on that one random roll on the random option. I could be sort of misunderstanding it. There's definitely uh, some translation things, but I think it's going to be really hilarious to compare six year anniversary comic cards. And hopefully those five fixed stats are great so that a lot of players who are missing, you know, they have a gap in their comic cards. They can just slap that baby in. I also kind of hope, I don't think it's going to be, but I hope it's going to be a premium card so we can craft it. But I'm not going to I'm not going to hold my breath for that one. Now we get to the biggie. Everybody wants to talk about it. I know I'm going to make a dedicated video about it. Don't worry. The, la the video last year was a hit, huge hit. The tier three character selector. So not every character is going to be on this list. We had issues last year with some misleading advertising that showed Black Widow in the tier three uh, selector animation stuff for like Facebook and Instagram ads. And then, of course, Black Widow wasn't a part of it. Right. So, yeah, but I'm expecting the same thing this year. I've already looked at the, the notes. Not every character is in it. Right. And so it makes sense uh, that if they did that last year, that they're going to do it this year. So. The characters that are available are basically every single 800 CCF tier three. That's not premium that we've gotten from the beginning of the game until 2000, the end of 2020. So when I say 800 CCF, of course, like all the 1200 and 1600 CCF are not available. So there's no Molecule Man. There's no Sentry. There's no Null. There's no Doctor Strange. There's no Wolverine, Deadpool, you know, Qu uh, uh, Scarlet Witch, nothing like that. There's also no Quicksilver. So none of those characters, but then of the 800 CCF tier threes, there's no premium characters. So there's no Carnage, there's no Luna Snow, there's no Crescent, and there may be a couple of others. But on top of that, there aren't any characters that were released tier three this year. So no Loki, no Rogue, no Daredevil. Again, some people are going to find issue with that. They're going to be upset about that, but it kind of makes sense, right? They just released these characters. They want you to go and build them up. If they're just going to give one of them away for free, then it sort of sends the wrong message, right? It's like, why would I bother building up these characters if you're just going to give them away for free uh, a couple months later, right? It sort of devalues these brand new tier threes, Daredevil, Rogue, and Loki. That's sort of how I see it. Uh, and I'm glad that I'm not seeing any advertisings with those three characters like prominently featured to sort of possibly mislead people. But there's a lot of good options. And the thing was last year with the tier three selector, a lot of these characters were a lot worse, right? Last year, think about it. If we go through this list, these are the list of characters that you can choose. You can choose Captain America, Thor, Iron Man, Spider-Man, Captain Marvel, Winter Soldier, Black Panther, Ant-Man, Sharon Rogers, Cyclops, Black Widow, Hulk, Black Bolt, Storm, Ghost Rider, Venom. Think about how many of these characters were reworked and are now amazing, right? Venom, Ghost Rider, Storm, Black Bolt, Hulk, Black Widow, Thor, right? Last year... Thor was on the list. Thor was terrible, right? So I can see that the list is a lot better than it was, not only because there are more characters, but because they actually went back and reworked a lot of these characters to make them a lot better, right? So yeah, it's an awesome, uh, you know, it's, it's an awesome reward. And uh, I'm excited to, uh, I don't know, am I, am I going to finally tier three Spider-Man? Last year was Black Bolt for me. I don't know, guys. I think it might be time for me to finally lay the Spider-Man meme to rest and, uh, just, and choose him and select him. So, yeah, 
these are the six year anniversary rewards i gotta say i was not expecting marvel future fight to be this extensive in the rewards i think these rewards are really generous and i also think that these rewards are very extensive they are not heavily favoring new players there, you know, there's a there's a healthy mix in here of things for all levels of players. Of course, you're going to have stuff for newer players like six star selectors and bio selectors because they need it. Right. But then you have stuff that everybody likes crystals, mega tier two tickets. And then you have stuff that veterans can really appreciate because they know the grind of bios. and They know the grind of these other materials in the potential tickets. And I actually have a lot of characters, for example, even though I'm a whale and stuff like that. But if you look at my roster, I got a lot of characters that I just took to level 62. And then I never touched them again. So if we go from here, this is where I stopped getting characters to level 70. Vision's actually the last one, and then it goes Blade. So from Blade down, I could use these tickets and get any of these characters, right? All the way down to Heimdall, Hela, and Quasar, and Thor Jane Foster. So what is that? You know, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. We're talking like almost 60 characters that I just don't have the resources. I mean, I, maybe I have some of the resources for it, but you know, I don't really want to invest that just yet. So it's really, really nice in my opinion. I think it's really dope uh, that they're doing that. And I'm really excited for this anniversary. I think I think it's going to be, I think this is a really good sign for the up for the next update and for the, for the anniversary. So I cannot wait to see what we're going to be getting for the April update. And uh, let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments about these uh, anniversary rewards. Are they enough to bring you back to the game if you took a break? Hit me up. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.